I took this excellent training class in geometric dimensioning and tolerancing from Scott Newman of Technical Consultants Incorporated, and you can find more information about them at www.geotall.com. And I wanted to take one of their parts and go through the different dimensioning and tolerancing of it. So I've got the part open. I'm on my MBD5 set datums combination state, and I'm going to start off with my geometric tolerance for the flatness of the A datum. So let's go to the annotate tab. And here we have geometric tolerance. And actually, before I do that, let me make sure that I am using the right annotation plane. And let's see, I think I actually do want to use, yeah, let's start with actually, let's start with the left one. Uh, because eventually I'm going to use this as A and this as B and this as C. So it might be helpful to look at it in this orientation. So with left active, let's now go to geometric tolerance. And my first one is going to be for the flatness of this surface. And let me move out about over here and then middle mouse click. And right now it's using my surface profile. If you go to the geometric characteristic drop down list, you can change the type that you're using. And this one should not have any datum references. So let's remove them. That's why you can see that red horizontal bar underneath it telling that there's something wrong. And get rid of the last one. And that's good. Now we have our flatness depicted. And with that created, now I can make a datum feature symbol indicating that that is A. So let's click on datum feature symbol. And I will select the geometric tolerance as the reference. And I'm going to drag it down, then middle mouse button. And there we have our A reference. For the B reference, it's going to be the bottom surface here. And I'm going to qualify that with a perpendicularity tolerance. Let's again go to geometric tolerance. And I'm going to select the surface and then drag out over here. Let's change the geometric characteristic from flatness to perpendicularity. And again, we've got a little red horizontal bar indicating that there is an error that needs a datum to reference. To pick the A datum, I can either enter it manually, but I actually prefer to select the datum reference from the model, which is what this icon does. And then I can pick the A reference then let's click OK out of the select dialog box, and it is using A. Let's click on the background of the screen to get out of there. Now I can create my B datum, click on datum feature symbol, select the geometric tolerance as the reference, middle mouse click, and there I have the B reference. And for the C reference, it's going to be perpendicular with respect to both A and B. And for this one, I'm going to change it. The C reference is going to be this surface, but I don't want it to be parallel to my two existing datums. Let's use the back annotation plane. So that's good. Now we'll go to geometric tolerance, and I'll pick this surface, and then middle mouse click. And it's perpendicular with the value that I want with respect to A. Let's add in our second reference, and we can click the icon, and then select the B datum, then click OK, and click on the background to get out. Now we will create our C datum, datum feature symbol, select this, drag down, and then middle mouse click, and now I have all my ABC datums created. So now I want to start creating my different annotations. And for that, I'm going to use the MBD7A combination state. And you'll notice that since I switched states, those three that were on MBD5 went away. And when I jump back to 5, I realize I forgot to save my new orientation. And let's say I want to look at it like such. Maybe I want to grab this and drag it so that it's not overlapping on model geometry. And then I can click update so it remembers that this is the orientation. Actually, let's make it a little bigger. Now I'll click update again. All right, back over to MBD7A. 
And first I'm gonna start off by displaying a bunch of the different dimensions. I'll click show annotations and let's pick the major extrude. And I see all the different dimensions visible on here and I actually want all of them. So I'm going to select all and then click OK. And now we'll start cleaning them up. And right now all of them are selected and I want them out to three decimal places. I have a mix of values here. Actually, you know, yeah, let's just change all to three decimal places. I don't want them rounded. And for most of these dimensions, they are going to be basic dimensions. Now, I have a note that says that all dimensions should be basic, but I can go, let's see, let's deselect them on here. My 45 dimension is sitting in the middle of the part. Let's also select all these different annotations and move them to the front plane. I'll use my selection filter to go to annotation and then swipe a box over all of them. Let's close this message. And I can right mouse click and choose move to plane, bring it up to the front surface. That makes it a little easier. All right, for cleaning up, let's select this 45 dimension. I can drag it out over here. So again, it's not on geometry. And for this 45 dimension, maybe I want it to be zero decimal places. For some of the other different dimensions, like the 750 over here, I can go to the tolerance and make that one basic. It puts the box around it. And let me see here for these other different dimensions. Let's also make them basic dimensions. So that's good for a few of them. Let's see what other dimensions am I missing. Let's go to show annotations again. And let's select this hole. And there we have one of our important dimensions for the diameter of the hole. That's good. Let's click OK. And I'm going to grab it and drag it out here off of the part. And from the mini toolbar, I can choose to flip the arrows. And for this one, this is going to have a position geometric tolerance. So let's create that. Let's go to geometric tolerance. And actually, let's change, let's get out of there and make sure that we are using the correct annotation plane. And now I will go to geometric tolerance again, and let's select the dimension. And the geometric characteristic for this one is not going to be perpendicular, it is going to be position. And the value is going to be 0.010. And it updates automatically on the screen. And it's going to be with respect to the A, B, and C datums. I'll click on this and to grab the C datum, I'm going to jump over to MVD5 and select my C datum. Then click OK and jump back over to MVD7. And there we can see the C datum in there. And one other thing about this, uh, this position tolerance is going to be with the max material boundary. So let's click up in the collector where we have the value. And then from the symbols, I can scroll down in here to find max material boundary. And it adds it in there and it's located within that annotation. All right, good for that one. Now, and while I'm adjusting it in here, let's update the orientation on the screen. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other different dimensions that should be in here. Actually, let me, as I see it, I see the 2.5 dimension in here. Let me grab this and drag it off. I didn't like how it was sticking out in space there. Uh, let's go to show annotations. And sometimes I just walk down the tree and see, hey, what other different dimensions do I want on here? And yes, I want this dimension. Actually, I want, in this case, all of them. Let's just select all and then click OK. And like before, I want all of these out to three decimal places, and I don't want them rounded. And now I can grab individual dimensions. Let's drag it off of the geometry, and you'll notice that it's automatically snapping to the midpoint as I'm dragging it. And for the 344 dimension, come on, there we go. I've got it. Drag it off of the part, and from the mini toolbar, by right-clicking, I can flip the arrows to the outside as well. And this particular dimension, it's going to have 
plus minus tolerance and the plus is going to be plus 0.05 and the minus is going to be minus 0 0.2. For the geometric tolerance for this one, it is also going to be a position tolerance. Let's select it and let's see what else do I want in here. This one we're going to have a value of 0.012 and max material condition with respect to A, B, and C. And let's see, I think, uh, let's see, a few other different things. Oh yeah, this is going to be a basic dimension. Let's select it and go to basic. Same with this one, select it, go to tolerance, and then basic. And doing a quick check to see, let's see. Grabbing that. Maybe you reposition this one a little bit over here. So again, it's off of the part geometry. And there are a couple other different ones that I want to do. And we're going to have a surface profile, but it's only going to be in effect from essentially this edge around these outer surfaces down to this bottom edge. So I'm going to create some notes to indicate my different position references. Let's start off by creating a note. And for this node, it's going to be on this edge over here. And then middle mouse click. We're going to indicate this with letter X. And let's do the same thing down at the bottom. Create a note. And then out over here, middle mouse click. And let's use the letter Y. Oops, hit the enter key. Click on the background of the screen a couple times to deselect everything. And for my final surface profile tolerance, let's go to the geometric tolerance. And I'm going to select this surface and then middle mouse click to locate it. Let's change the geometric character characteristic to profile of a surface. And it's not going to be max material condition. It's even warning me that I'm using a symbol that's not allowed. So I can just delete it and change the value. And it is going to be with respect to A, B, and C. But it's just going to be from X all the way to Y. And here's where I'm going to do a little trick. I'm going to go to the additional text. And I want X and then the double arrow to Y located down here. And if I go to the symbols drop down, I can see that it's listed right here. And it puts it up right next to the value. And it says, hey, there are invalid characters following the tolerance size value. No kidding. So I'm highlighting it. And I'll use Control X. And let's go back to additional text. And I'll type in X space. And then Control V to paste that symbol back in there. And then Y. And let's center it in, in there. And we have our final geometric tolerance created. That's great. Let's hit the Update button. And in this way, oh wait, one more thing I forgot. Let's make this also a basic dimension. There we go. Now I am complete in terms of creating my annotations for the dimensions and tolerances of the whole bar. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.